Hey guys, welcome back to another video. For today's video, it's a little bit different. I'm gonna be doing like a surprise date night for my boyfriend. Um, so he knows he's coming over for dinner, but he doesn't know what we're having. Um, and usually we cook together for the most part. So he's usually the person that will do the grilling of the meat or the cooking of the meat and I'll kind of take care of all the sides and the prepping and that kind of thing. Um, so today I'm being a big girl and I'm gonna cook ribeye steak all by myself. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. My parents are gone for a few days. Um, so I am home alone. It's gonna be kind of fun because I have the kitchen to myself. That sounds kind of sad, I have the kitchen to myself. Most people my age are like, hey, I have the house to myself, let's throw a party, and me, I'm like, woohoo, kitchen, I can cook. Uh, but anyways, so yeah, so it'll be kind of fun to have the kitchen to myself, have my own space, and just kind of cook how I want, what I want. I went out and bought some groceries, and yeah. Like I said, he doesn't know anything that I'm cooking, um, he'll be coming over a little bit later, so I'm just going to do some prep um, and I'll take you guys along with me and show you guys the recipes, put everything in the description. So if you're interested in what I'm cooking for date night, then just keep on watching. Okay, you guys, so right off the bat, we're going to adjust something in this recipe. Um, because I didn't realize that this wasn't low sodium soy sauce, I used too much and it was pretty salty. So I would just say instead of half a cup of soy sauce, I would start with a quarter cup. Um, and then I'm just adding some lemon zest and I also have some garlic I just did one clove, but you can use as much as you'd like. And then um, some fresh parsley and Worcestershire sauce. I also added a little bit of black pepper. You can put as much as you like for taste. All the um, ingredients and the amounts will be listed down below. And then you just wanna give that a good stir and pour it over your mushrooms to let it marinate. And I covered this and put it in the fridge for probably about an hour, but at least 20 minutes is good enough for them to soak up. And when you cook them, you're gonna keep the juice with them. You don't just take the mushrooms out. You want them to really soak in the juice while they're cooking too. Moving on to the caprese salad, um, I used some fresh mozzarella. Typically, you would use a soft, like, bocconcini style mozzarella, but um, my boyfriend doesn't like soft textures like that. So instead of, like, a mushy cheese, I'm using just regular mozzarella. And then I have um, some fresh tomatoes, and you just want to place those on kind of, like, a long plate. It makes it look really pretty. Um, and, yeah, you just kind of put the cheese in between the tomatoes, however much or however little you like and then you're gonna sprinkle some basil on top. Now I was prepping before, um, like pretty early, so I did just put this in the fridge as is and I'll dress it later in the video. Next, I'm making myself some mashed potatoes. Again, my boyfriend does not like mushy textures, so I made him rice instead for his side dish, but I love mashed potatoes, so I just peeled a few uh, potatoes and then I made enough to have extra for like the next day or two um, but you just want to chop them up into little like cube size pieces just so that they cook a little bit faster um, and then I'm soaking them in some water just to kind of release some of the starches and then you're going to drain those and pop them in some hot water And then you're just gonna let this boil until they become fork tender. So as soon as you can stick a fork into them, they're good to go. You can drain them and start your process. Um, for the steak, these are prime rib, like ribeye steaks. Um, and I took them out of the fridge about 30 minutes before I wanted to cook them. And I'm just patting them down because I am gonna put oil. So the moisture doesn't let the oil stick as well, if that makes sense, because water and oil don't really go well together. So I pat the steaks down just to uh, make sure that they're not wet. And then I'm going in with some oil. You wanna let the steak sit out about 30 minutes before you cook them because they cook better, especially in cast iron, when they're not cold. So you want them to be room temperature. Thank you. 
And then you want to use as coarse of a salt as you have. I only had the pink Himalayan salt, but if you have like coarse, like kosher sea salt, that would be amazing. You're going to get a way better crust. Same with your pepper. Um, if you have like the pepper grinder or really thick um, pepper, I didn't have that. But if you use it, I promise you it's way better. You get a way better sear on your steak. Um, so I just used what I had on hand. It still turned out really good. I just didn't get as thick of a crust as I would have liked. Um, but you just salt and pepper both sides and you leave them to sit in tin foil just until you're ready to cook them. Now for my mashed potatoes, I'm just adding the same three ingredients to taste. So I just started with a little bit of butter, cream, and salt, and I'm just going to mash that up. And then I add more as I go. Um, I didn't show it here, but this is the special ingredient to my mashed potatoes. It's called borzen. This is like an urban garlic cream cheese, but like a bougie one. <laughs> so it makes it really good and garlicky. And I just mix it in, add a bit more cream to make it nice and buttery and creamy. And those are my mashed potatoes. So now for the caprese salad, I added some olive oil, some salt, and balsamic vinegar. Or sorry, it's a balsamic glaze. So it gives it that really pretty like restaurant style. You just kind of swivel it on top. It looks really good and it tastes really good. And then you just cut into it as you want to eat it. For that last portion, I wanted to leave the sound on so you could hear the sizzle. You want to make sure your cast iron is very hot with oil on the bottom um, to get a nice sear. If you had the thicker coarse salt and everything, um, it would get like more brown as you could see. But you just let those cook on two minutes each side um, just until they get a little bit caramelized. You add some garlic, thyme, you could add fresh thyme or fresh rosemary and a little bit of butter. And then you just baste your steaks. And again, you're just leaving them on each side for about two minutes. And then they go into the oven to cook for about five to seven minutes. And I used a meat thermometer to get mine to where I wanted them to be medium rare. Um, but you can leave them in for however long you like, depending on your steak style. And this was the finished um, picture here, guys. It looks so good. Um, we got our juicy steak and they turned out perfect. Our salads all dressed, mushrooms, everything. And then the leftover sauce I used for my mashed potatoes. Chris, I wanna see your reaction. Come look. You made a steak. <laughs> Yours is the one with the rice. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they're cooked like right, like I checked the temperature and it says it should be good, but you might might be a little less like rare than you like. You make good steaks? Yeah, ribeye. From where? Uh, meat market. Meat? Yeah, Hades? Romano's. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's a deli meat. It might oh, be. That should be all right. Yeah, it's because you sear them first and then you put them in. Mm. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see this because it is pretty small on screen, but my boyfriend was actually at his, uh, his friend's house before he came over and he was so upset because he was leaving right as they were making steak and he was disappointed because he wanted to have some. So I thought that it was pretty funny that I ended up making it. I got to Snapchat Alex. <laughs> That's why I was like, he's bitching that he doesn't have freaking steak. Meanwhile, I'm over here slaving away making steak. Shit. You know, it looks good when he's posting on his Snapchat. Oh, you want me to taste it right now? Mm -hmm. I don't know how it's cooked in the inside. Yeah, it's, it's good? Yeah. Woo! Yeah. I did it! I did it! I used a meat thermometer. Yeah. Are you, you proud you of me? You can't mess up. Okay. Huh? The only thing you mess up is like flipping. Yeah, I don't know how the flavor is. Pretty good? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Is it salty enough? Yeah. I'm good. Yay! I rate it 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Would you eat it again? Yeah, every day. <laughs> every day? Mm -hmm. Was it cooked right? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So you're happy you came here instead of staying at your friend's house? Shout out Alex. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. get you on tape. <laughs>
Yeah, you got lucky. <laughs> I got lucky, whatever. You got lucky <clears throat> with a girl that cooks you dinner. It surprises you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alrighty guys, that is the final product. I hope that you guys like the video and that it helped give you some inspiration for your next date night inside. Um, if you make any of these recipes, definitely tag me and let me know and I'll see you in my next one.